Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you so much for joining me on the Valder BB show as I broadcast live on FM out of Dallas, Texas. Oh, let's do it, Valder. Good morning. Good morning to both of you. Thank you so much for joining me. We've got a quick opportunity to talk with you about VH1's Love and Listings. I'm going to ask you guys some questions about that little provocative show, and <laughs> I'm so good. You guys are here to give me the real deal, okay? So oh, yeah. I've got Jacob Knight, and I've got Zach Dials, and we were talking about you guys. So my audience, they're very, very aware of you, you guys as being, you know, hip-hop royalty and from the realist, and from uh, the NFL. So here we go. Okay, Jacob, I'm going to start with you. Okay. You are, you, you're out there, you got, you're making your own path. And the reason why I'm starting with you, us parents, we want to know, okay, how do you forge your own path and not just just kill us as parents? I'm telling you. Well, my father is he, he's a fo co-founder of Death Row Records, and me, I am Jacob Knight, the best upcoming real estate agent and now coming out of Los Angeles, California. You know, and that's pretty much how I'm started. My father's in jail. I can't. I couldn't write him for the most part. So the best thing I could do was you know make him proud and just be the best. Come out, make, be something that my brothers and sisters can look up to. Be somebody that, be inspiring to those kids who have a parent in jail that's growing up. And I'm like, I'm doing it for the culture. You know, the West Coast needs some more young, young entrepreneurs. I like that. Zach Dials, you had a stellar career. Now you're uh, kind of with the ladies and doing real estate. <laughs> Tell me how you, how, how you merged that. Yeah, no, a career went pretty decent. Can't complain. You know, eight years in the NFL. Um, Retired. I'm from California originally, so it made sense to come back out here. Just started just, you know, realizing a lot of my, you know, co-workers, so to speak, were come out here, train or whatever that aspect was. So it was kind of a niche that I saw that was like, okay, I could come out here and help these guys with their real estate. And it kind of just grew into something bigger than that. And, um, yeah, with the ladies, you know, you know, <laughs> that, that part, you're just going to have to, you're going to have to watch, you know, my, my girlfriend and I, we had a little, it was real weird because when I first got into the relation, uh, um, the business, met Samantha. We had a, a little, you know, short little fling going on, and and that that ended. But we still had a, a really good business relationship. And then I meet Katrina, and then all the rest is history. So it's going to be a fun watch. It was, I, I, you know, hopefully it's relatable to some people, but it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I think it's related to a lot of relatable to a lot of people. You guys are your your ratings are doing very very well. Right. I need to ask yeah. you this from Facebook, uh, uh, Zach. They want to know what did you learn from the NS M NFL that you're bringing to Love and Listing. Just, I thought that was a good question. Just knowing you know just big business, you know, just understanding because I pay attention to everything. When I'm in a scenario, I'm paying attention to how things are operating, how things are moving, and you know, you're just in a situation, a scenario where. You know, it's 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 cutthroat, you know, it being in that business. And so is real estate because the competition is heavy. There's a lot of agents out yeah. here. So, um, you know, just coming from the NFL where you see a lot of turnaround, turnover every day, knowing that every day this could be my last day on a job. You know, if I mess up a practice, this could be my last day. So this could be my last day with this client. If I don't show them something that they like, they're moving on to somebody else, another agent. So it really correlates a lot in that aspect. And, uh, you know, being in the NFL, to this, it's it's really kind of the same. Jacob, let me ask you. You guys are dealing with some of the biggest name in Hollywood, and you're a big name in yourself. Do people perceive you as just want to buy a house, or do they want to know about your personal business? I feel like it's both. That's why they're tuning into the show Love and Listings <laughs> because you know what? This is California. We are the land of the stars. Yep. We are the land of the the most expensive houses, the most beautiful people. I mean, the show is easy to watch. And a person like me, all I can do is just show you the ropes because I'm showing you the beginning stages of the best multi-million dollar agent selling, whatever you want to call it. Show Jacob Knight who I am. <laughs> Let me ask you guys, uh, both of you, if you could do this final question for me. You guys are in a position that a, young, a lot of young people are sitting at home. They want to be on VH1. They want to be, uh, you know, have their own love and listening. What advice do you have for them? Be yourself. I've been, I got to this situation right here by being myself. At first, people that wasn't a fan of my father, and now people are embracing my father for giving me some encouraging advice through the, through the jail. So, you know, that's pretty much inspiring, and that's all I can say to people is if you want to be something like this, 
just be yourself and just tune into the show. And yeah, just you know, just be authentic. Like like Jacob said, just be authentic to yourself. Um, this, these opportunities kind of just like fell in our laps. We yeah. didn't come out here to LA, or I know myself, I didn't to be on television. You know, Jacob's, you know, I dropped out of Fisk State. University. I was going to college, and then you know what? I need to pay. Need, I needed another career while my father went to jail, and I had to be the man of the house. A lot of people can relate to that. So this is a breath of fresh air where you can just watch the show and just grow with us. Yep. All right, when you guys want us to watch. Oh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. in Dallas, you know, 10, 9 Central tonight, Monday. Uh, the premiere of our new show, Love and Listings. I, it's going to be a fun watch. I, it's All definitely right, going to be a fun watch. We're going to be there. I can't wait for them to give you a new season. So please come back to the Valder BB show because sure. I think you guys are a hit. Thank It'll you. Do. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to my phone pouch.